everybody. Welcome to Candy Quota Conversations with your girl Candice here back with another video. Thank you guys for coming through to take a listen to hear what I need to ramble on about today. Now, we all know we've been waiting for all sorts of updates and things of that nature from what's going on with Diddy. You know, ever since the big raid, ever since, you know, things have come out that his son is being brought up on charges. So it has just been a complete fiasco to say the least. But I happened upon a video, you guys, where I said, you know what? <laughs> Diddy been playing in people's faces way too long. And I'm I'm trying to do just a little bit of talking here before we get into the video, you know, till we get to that little sweet spot where, you know, things can be said. But when I say this man has just been playing in people's faces, I really feel like once we know all of the allegations and all of the names involved, because trust and believe it's coming. Those names are going to be revealed of anyone that it has said that this man has had any type of relationship with, um, whether it be homosexual relationship or heterosexual relationship. If they have laid in Diddy's bed, we're going to find out about it. We're going to find out about it, you guys. And I, I know that it's none of our business. I know this. But, you know, when you um, handle your business so poorly that you have charges brought on you and you have women um, um, suing you for $30 million and you settling with them for the $30 million, it just brings everything into question. So when you, when I say you guys that Diddy is playing in these men's faces, I think that we're going to find a lot of men that Diddy has messed with, have come on to and things of this nature. And when it's all said and done, Diddy feels like he has the trump card. Like I got something on you and he just plays in their faces like, oh, calling them daddy. Okay, daddy, I see you, daddy. Like, what are they going to say? Are you going to really get mad at Diddy to the point what you want to fight him? And then Diddy throw out the little evidence that he got on you? No, you're just going to sit there and take it. Just like Diddy says, honestly, now that I'm, th you know, now that things are really coming into focus, what, what, what did Diddy mean when he said, take that, take that, take that? Yeah, you're going to take any type of treatment he's handing you is what I'm kind of feeling like Diddy meant when he says, take that, take that. Like there's a whole lot of meanings to uh, what this man has said. Now, you know, that we're coming to find out something. So um, what I'm going to do, let's get into this video, you guys. It's not that long, but it's very, very telling. It's very telling. So I want everybody to pay attention to what he's saying, the, you know, the things that he's saying, um, his interaction with people. And let, let's, let's take a look, y'all. Let's take a look at this. And of course, this is a, a bit of a reaction, you guys. So uh, don't think anything about it. Uh, when I stop for a little bit of commentary, you know, that has to be done. You know, stay within our YouTube parameters and things like that. But I want you guys to take a look, you know, at just some of these examples of what I feel like he, he's playing in these men's faces. And uh, what some people in the inner circle had to say. Listen, I never seen him in the act with another man alone. Mm. Now, he's that type of dude. Okay, I'm already stopping you guys. So this is his former security guard, you guys. 
And he says, he is saying, I have never seen him in the act alone. Which means, I guess, just to save face a little bit, Diddy is making sure they're all having type of group activities so that it can never be said he's just in there with men. A complete cover up. He'll take his girl, his girl, his baby mama with you and your girlfriend and your man's in them, and they'll go out and they do all kind of freaky shit with each other and together. You know what I'm saying? The only fun boy shit that I ever seen him do, we was in one of those um exotic shops. Yo, I'm gonna turn this shit out. <laughs> this shit was funny. We was in Atlanta. We and just to clarify, he said the only fun boy, and that's a little term, you know. I mean, I it, it it is a little bit, you know, not a little bit, it's derogatory, you know, term uh for gay people, you know, to say that's fun boy stuff. So just in case anyone wasn't clear. We go to those exotic shops where you get all kind of like they buy oils, dildos, uh um spooky. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? All kind of all kind of shit. So they would just give him a brown paper bag and they wouldn't even he could he never put his shit out on the on the you know on, on the, the counter on the counter when we get ready to take it out. He would always just give a man a, a wad of money. So they just thought it was cool. So they'll give him a brown bag, he'll go through that. So one day I was walking down the aisle with him. And so then he just stopped and he just started picking this shit up off the aisle. And he was getting a just you know, he, he, he went up there like several times just getting shit down. And so then I I I I I, I pinned in on what he was, you know, where he was getting it from. And because I was just staying a couple of feet behind him. So when I went by, I looked up. I said, yo. And I seen the shit up there and it said butt plugs. And I said, yo, my man, what you get this shit for? And the nigga said, yo, on everything I love, yeah, man. Uh, he said, yo, Rick, he said, yo, can I do my shopping by myself? <laughs> wow. Now, <laughs> that was funny. To me, it was <laughs> But I think it's crazy. It just lets you know. So he's recounting just being in a, a X store and stating that every time they went into a store of this nature, you know how everybody, you know, I mean, a lot of times they're they're kind of fun places to be and everybody's just buying what you want to buy. But the type of things that Diddy clearly is buying or meant more than likely for gay men. So he does not want anyone in the toy store to know the type of toys that you're buying. Best in believe, if these were toys that pleased women, you wouldn't be putting them in a brown paper bag so that nobody could see them. That's number one. Let's be for real. If these were things created to please a woman and you are a heterosexual man, you would not be putting all your purchases in a brown paper bag for the privacy of it and, and to be discreet, okay? And then when you're confronted about all of the, look, he probably had all kinds of sizes. This bodyguard said he kept reaching up to the same section and pulling all sorts of uh, of plugs in his bag. And the only thing you have to say is, please let me do my shopping in peace. No, he was not buying Christmas presents and stocking stuffers. They uh, Well, they were stuffers, but not for the stocking. Let's get back to the video. Ha! Gay! We had, we, um... We want to thank you. Come here. Don't, don't sit on the bed at night. No homo. No, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed. But it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man. Man, you, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it. You did. No, no, no. I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not getting in the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just now, I, I want everyone to pay attention to this because it's so quick that I'm not even going to bother trying to spotlight it because it goes by so quick. I already did try to spotlight it just so that everybody could see it. But this is Kevin Hart, in case you guys aren't recognizing the voice and the face. This is Kevin Hart. 
and Kevin Hart is going to is specifically saying, I definitely don't am not going on the bed. And I, I don't want to be even in the scene with the bed. And take a look at why. If we can, just let's let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not. I don't want my shot. Even now, you guys see that on the the screen. At all. Supposedly, that's what's laying in the bed. Used to wake up and so now, here's his interaction with Kevin Hart and Usher. Which, uh, and this is why, if you guys look at the thumbnail. I put people in the thumbnail that literally he been playing in their face. So this is uh, Puffy and Usher, as well as Kevin Hart. Um, Usher lived with Puffy for a period of time, and um, there it was said that from him that he saw a lot. He even said that he would never even allow his own children to be around that environment that he was in when he was with Puffy. But it makes you wonder, what else did you endure when you were in the home with Puffy? And what other type of things were you taught and told? We, we've we had reports of you showing pictures of uh, uh, homosexual activity because you wanted to try to get someone else to think that it was okay. And oh, see, even Stevie J does it. That it was what Stevie J it said, allegedly. Okay, so let's play this. But like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like ten and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the frosted flakes. You know what I'm saying? The four paws was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the off of the frosted flakes because he used to always get up early. With me. And now he's one of the richest stars yo, in the world. And I'm yo, like, what? And and I can only imagine this. He see he tried to downplay how much older he was than Usher at the time. But I can only imagine this grown man play wrestling, trying to see. And, and look, I look. That's what molesters do, you guys. I'm just putting it out there. I this is nothing to do with Diddy at this particular moment. My particular comment. But what I'm saying is. In the grooming process, this is what a lot of pedophiles do. Oh, let's wrestle. Let's rest, let's play fight. We're wrestling. That's so they can touch all over your body and then line say they were playing. Okay, let's keep going. What the f did Puff just say? And I'm going to mute it because there is a little music playing right here. But yeah, look how he's looking. Yeah. Yeah, I love this drink. You put my bag you. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, you put my bag daddy, I like when you scrambling and scraping. When you scrambling and scraping. I want you to party with me for your birthday, man. I'm, I, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. You no, know? but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? What? Bro, what yeah. are you talking about? And and I'm just like this too. He's calling Fabulous Daddy. Fabulous clearly looks uncomfortable. Then he's saying, you know, he's trying to remind Diddy that we did hang out on my birthday. Diddy's gonna try to tell him, well, we didn't party party. What's party party? What's that? What's what's party party? Okay. Uh, interview. I know it's a really tough time for you right now, but we really appreciate your time. Let's do it. Now, is Puff, Pink Diddy, how do you want me to? Now, this part right here, you guys, of course, everything in the video is alleged, but I, I'm not sure how accurate or true this part is. I don't know if this is something that was put together, but I'm going to play it with, you know, put it in front of it, you know, Entertainment purposes only alleged. Okay. You refer to you. You can call me love. Okay. Let's address the elephant in the room, all the allegations. Are you attracted to men or women? It depends on my mood, my vibe. Is it true that you've had sexual relations with Meek Mill? I can't tell you that. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it.
This is him. I'm going to mute it because there is music playing there. But he keeps calling him daddy. I was the president for shit. And you know, watch this, you guys. Watch this. Y'all see how he tried to lean in and kiss Bono? Bono was like, uh uh. Bono, Bono is, is an icon from you too. Even Bono, you know, in the celebrity circles. You know, they know word gets out. So I'm sure that white man was like, uh uh, don't, don't bring that mouth over here. I heard about these Diddy parties. I heard about the parties and I want no part of it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was very interesting. Some of the things that were highlighted, you know, please like, comment, subscribe. I definitely want to hear what you have to say in the comments. Um, share the video. And I appreciate you guys um, coming through to listen. Thank you so much. And see you at the next Candy Coated Conversation. Bye.